Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together this bunny ears hat mug, which is an SVG from Simply Crafty SVGs. So here's what we're going to make. I call it uh, bunny ears uh, hat mug. You could put the, you could see his little mug in a cup, but on the other side with the little hats and the little feet at the bottom. So the final one will be taller, taller than this. I made it a little bit taller since this. <clears throat> so here are the pieces. So we all have these little side pieces. And here are the, this is the actual mug in the base. And the ears. So I have everything in the feet in here. So we can get a couple things um, done. Well, we're just going to leave those in there. And we're not going to use that quite yet. Just going to get that out of our site here. So this one will be, so we're going to take this one, this is the hole where, where we'll actually slide this in. Um, we can put that aside. So just that one. And then we'll need these. And we'll go in um, different uh, steps here. So first of all, this is just the handle. So it's back to back. So I have little score marks in there rather than um, have anybody set to score or anything. So I just got, have to do glue it back to back. So this is American Craft textured cardstock. So I want to glue every put glue on everything other than the tabs. Those two tabs. So we're just getting this prepped, and then make sure they're back to back. And it'll give it a little bit more um, strength as well. So when it glues to this panel, we can actually do that. We might as well just do that now. Then we can just let it sit and dry. So it actually glues to this. So this is the bottom part. And this is the top part. See how that goes. So we'll put this panel on after we get it together because we don't want this in our way. So we'll just go like this, go like that, and those tabs won't be as long as they seem. I cut it before I made the fix, so I fixed the tabs but I just forgot to, I didn't cut another one out. So you won't have to do that. It's just because they were a little bit too long. As soon as I started to show you, I remembered that I forgot to do that. So these just flatten to the back. And then when we get to the point where we can put this panel on, uh, we'll put it on. We just don't want it to get in the way when we um, put together the mug hat combo. So I was inspired by actually a, a mug I saw in the store a long time ago. So that's where my inspiration came from. So that's that. We'll put that aside. So with these, you want to go ahead and score them or fold them on the score lines. It's already scored. And I do this before I put the panels on because it helps me figure out the definition of the edge so I can put the panels on because we want to put the panels on when it's flat. But me folding it a little bit will help me uh, put these panels on. So it's pretty simple. We always want to put things on when it's flat if possible. Then if anybody's wondering, I'm using a art glitter glue. So just go ahead and just center it. So we'll go ahead, I'll finish putting these on. 
So this is nothing I need to really explain. So just continue and finish this up and then we can move to the next step. And if you have um, seen our projects before, if you do like this, I ask you if you can give us a little thumbs up below and or subscribe to our channel. And also if you do subscribe, if you hit that little bell to the right of it, uh, you'll be notified when there's new videos. So then when we have a new project or a new tutorial, because we do a couple tutorials too, we'll go from there. Oh, and I do have to tell you something. So here we go. i got to talk through this anyways. So you don't want to put panels all the way around. So one of them is going to have to be the front. So we've got to leave one panel for, so we're going to leave this left panel for this. So we're going all the way around except for that last one. So I might as well not take a break. So this is kind of a little pattern. I'm, it's a digital paper that I printed out. It's colorful. I thought it would be fun. If you haven't tried digital papers, give them a try. I do have a couple tutorials for Silhouette. Well, not Silhouette. I haven't done finished the Silhouette one. For Cricut, let's just say. So as of this video, Cricut. And I will have one for Silhouette soon. Just haven't finished it. So now, once we have all the panels on, we'll go ahead and uh, add glue to the side tab. So we're going to go ahead and... We're not going to close all the way. We're just going to glue the sides. So that side tab, we're going to line this up. I'm going to go like this. So just make sure you line that edge up to the tab fold. And the other one's uh, fairly simple. You just want to, you can just fold it over. It'll naturally fold where it needs to go. So you might need to just kind of guide it a little bit to get it more accurate, but that's how it works. So springs the cow or springs here, I guess. Now I get to craft with colorful items. I like blue. And the other color I really like is lime green. I don't know why. I just like greens. I like uh, um, neutral tones. So what colors do you guys like to craft with? I mean, I'm sitting here talking to myself, so I thought I might as well just ask you a question. Go ahead and comment below, and uh, that'd be fun to know. Okay, so now we've got that all glued together. You can see there's little things inside. We're going to go ahead and we're not going to put the bottom on yet. So the reason is, is that we have to put the way this goes, just to show you, um, this is going to glue here. It's going to attach underneath here. So this will go around there and attach. But this we have to put on kind of before. So it's kind of an awkward thing. But it does work, so I know you just have to bear with me on this. So we need to take the ears and get them, them prepped. So we're just going to go ahead. I kind of made these a little bit peachier. Um, and it is a different, if you did notice, um, it is actually a different color um, than the one in the previous. I had to redo a portion of the video. So I thought, well, that's kind of an interesting inside of the ear. So we're just going to add those. Put some light glue on it. We're going to have end up kind of curling them a little bit so you don't want too much glue. You can put them on how you see fit. So if you have like a little round, I'm trying to think of what those are called. Anyways, I use a utensil. Anything that's really round. Some people use, uh, oh, why can't I think of it? Dowels. I dowels to do it. But I'm just going to curl them a little bit to give it a little bit more of a natural look. So just be patient. 
if you're going to do it, just it's really up to what you want it to look like. I'm just trying to get it a, a little bit of a concave look, like a, a near right there. You could just put them up as is too, you don't have to do all this, but it's just to give a different personal touch. Once you get it on, um, you'll see if that works for you. So once we have it curled to your liking, so I just kind of didn't go all out, but make sure I didn't I have my little glue here just to make sure I didn't it didn't dry up on me. I had it open. We're gonna go ahead and take this piece, this bottom piece. We're going going to put it, we're gonna actually glue it so these line up. So it's going to be around that uh, little octagon in the middle. So you want it to be centered around that. But we'll have to put the ears on first. So what I suggest is wherever we put it, it's going to be the front. So take one of the sides here and, and make it your front. So choose whichever is best for you. So this will be the front. And there's a little score mark in there. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it here. So you want to glue it on, if it's the front, you want one kind of here on the edge here. And you can play around with it. I mean, you can put it on and see what it looks like to you. It's not a perfect method, but I tried round. And if you noticed, if you were really, really noticed, I tried a round one in the middle, and that just will be too get difficult for people to follow. So because it has to be lined up on this bottom piece well. And you see how it crosses over? But here you go, as they flip up, they'll go against that. But because this is wider at the top, we're, we want to be able to slide it from underneath, so we want to make sure we get this on first. So here's the trick. We have to make sure we left that one panel off. So I think I want to put the handle on the right. So if that's the case, you want this to, you want it to be like this. So this would be the very front panel in between the ears and then to the right of the ear, right, to the right ear, behind the right ear, and behind the left ear. And then this is where our handle will go. So if you wanted to go the other way, that would be the front panel between the ears. So this would land between the ears and then to the right and left. So that's how it works. So you need to make sure you put it on that way. So I want it that way, but I'm going to have to put it upside down. So it's going to be on the right. I want it on the right. It's going to be on the left when it's upside down. So we're going to leave that there for a minute, and we're just going to put this on. I don't want to confuse you, so let's go here. Then. If I'm repeating myself, there's a reason because somebody's going to forget by the time I get to that point. <laughs> so this, we just want to make sure these edges match the shape in the middle there. So you can still see it even though it's a bit awkward. And it's pretty much equidistance and you can watch the edge as well. There's just a little bit of an edge showing. little bit off kilter so let me get that fixed. So you just kind of carefully before you press it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a little treat box but it's fun. Well I think it is but I hope other people do too. So now that we're we want to put this on it's upside down ready for us to go and I trained these little tabs backwards so they'll flip back because they're going to glue that way underneath this little brim here. But we need to flip them up in order for them to go through. So remember that has to be, I want that to be the front one. That will be to the right of the ears, the left of the ears, and then 
but we're upside down. So what we need to do, so it seems awkward, but it really is not as bad as it seems. I'm making sure that this front panel right here between the ears is lined up with that one tab. So before you glue it, once you get it through, just kind of carefully, make sure it's where you want it to be before you move on because you don't have that handle on yet. So let's go ahead and anchor that one tab. So I'm just going to fold it back. I'm just going to anchor it in place so you can see. So what I think is easiest is to take the tab right across from it. And anchor the other side. And all that these tabs will be hidden when we're done. And then we'll just do these two sides to make sure it's centered the other way, and then we'll do the rest of them. Just making sure that I'm getting that inside edge of that panel in the inside tab fold of that. And I'll fold it over on the other side. And then we'll go ahead and fold these all back. So now you have the, it looks like a hat. So if you, if you just wanted to do a hat, because you could do that, you don't have to put the handle on it. It's just some weird thing that I thought would be fun. Um, if you don't want the handle, just put in, cut another panel without those little holes in it. And... Uh, you can just have a hat, a hat box, because the, uh, the top is open. So if they don't flip up, if they don't stay up because it's a little bit loose, um, you can go ahead and put like a little glue dot or a dab of glue behind there and glue them backwards. It's up to you. And what would be fun here, while well, I got them in place here. I'm just going to curl one of my ears. So just kind of have a little fun with it. So the last thing we want to do, it's not one of the last things, one of the last things. Let's go ahead and we can put the handle on now. So you can just reach in there and apply pressure against that panel. And then before you put the bottom panel on, we're going we're gonna to add this. I actually printed this. We can do a little Happy Easter. It might be fun right here. But, I mean, you can put something like that on there. I'm not sure I'm going to use it. I used, I printed it for another project and uh, I didn't use it on the other project if you watch that video. So these are just going to glue, glue to the bottom like that. So if you want them to stick out more you can. I think it's more fun sticking out. But you can see where it glues to. It doesn't really matter. What I would do is put them where you want and then put glue so now that we have it in a place we want, and you can kind of visualize it, you can't see it, but I'm kind of putting them, looking at where they are with the ears. Then we can go ahead and just add glue. So I want them out just a little bit. Then we'll just add glue to the ends here. Night, uh, just chalk the end edge of the feet a little bit to give them a little edge. So you can move them around before you're done, before they dry. 
then when you like where they are, just go ahead and put them on. So I'm going to rotate it so you can see it. And there it is. Got little feet, and I put little gifts in there. So the only thing we need to do now is just to cover that up, so we can cover up all the feet and the and the tabs. So it fits. Just flip it upside down, and we'll add this panel. And if you did like this video, uh, please give me a little thumbs up below and or subscribe to our channel. And if you hit that little notification bell to the right, you'll be notified when there's new videos, whether it be tutorials or a new project like this. We just line it up. I'm just going to flip it over once I get it in place. And then just go around the edge and apply pressure. So it's a pretty easy 3D. I'd say it's more of a beginner 3D project if you want to try something but you, you've only done boxes. I like to do, I could have made it round but if I made it round it would have been a little bit more difficult. And I like the look of it anyways. So there you go. I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.